Hello everybody, I'm Chris Fargo and welcome back to another video. Now, as I said in my Taco Bell video, I am walking on buildings for a Lego train layout and I'm continuing on with this theme with this, the Disney store. Now, Disney, of course, is very iconic. Um, we used to have one in a mall here that kind of looked like this. It went out of business though, uh, while it moved or something. Um, Renewal Disney stores kind of different color scheme than this. I think this looks better though than the just like white and red or whatever they have nowadays. So you've got these big windows, you got tiling, you know, you've got all sorts of stuff. This is a bit different than one that used to be in the mall though because this is a standalone building obviously. But this is just kind of my idea of what it would look like if it was a standalone building. I do have small Mickey Mouse heads up here. I was originally thinking about putting like one giant one. I decided that'd be too expensive so I just have these smaller ones. Um, and of course I do have these big beautiful windows here as I said and I'm going to be putting things in there sort of like store displays and decorations for stuff and we'll show that at the end of the video I just don't have it in the studio. Uh, the rest of it though here I did build in Bricklink Studio. Let's kind of look at all of it um, and yeah so I'm going to, I've bought the ports of this I'm going to go start building it right now so. Alright well here's the base for the Disney store um, not much to it yet, but you can see it has all rounded corners. That's something I kind of want to do a little bit different than my other buildings. And we do have these kind of pedestal kind of platforms here. Well, we can set stuff in the window display. Um, for instance, here's Tinkle Bell. Um, and of course we have these kind of round tiles. And we do have the checkered floor here. Alright, so here so far I've got some nice kind of striping. The Disney Store by us in the mall used to have like these where they kind of look like film strips with like Mickey Mouse kind of like animation cells. And then they had this thing that back it was like a pistol that had a bunch of like stuffed animals sitting on it. So I've tried to replicate that. And we've also just got a lot of nice colors. This kind of bright blue, this magenta, and of course the black and whites. All very nice. And of course I will add big windows here on the front here in just a second. And I will of course be continuing building the wall which will be in turquoise. Okay, here's my progress. Now, you'll, of course, immediately notice that these tan bricks here aren't white. That's just because I don't have those in clear right now. I'm waiting on them to arrive, but they will be fixed here by the end of the video. I also don't have anything in the windows right now. I will also fix that here by the end of the video, but here's the progress on the walls. Um, very nice. Uh, I did have to use some license, um, artistic license, with adding some windows. Because otherwise the wall looked really flat. One of them all, of course, did not have windows there. But um, I am going to be adding, of course, a middle section here that has a door. I haven't added that yet. But here you can kind of get the idea of these big windows that I'm going for. Uh, many figures and stuff will go in there, as I said. And it is looking pretty nice. Only very colorful. Very loud, if nothing else. Alright, here I've added some stuff to the front. On this side I've got Woody, as well as this little show thing. And on this side I've just got Mickey and Minnie figures. I don't really have anything to go with them. I was thinking about putting like an ultra or something, but I don't really have that. I also do have a sticker here now for Disney Store logo. Um, and on the inside I have a little like balloon for sale stand there. And I have a little Moana set up there, although I've never actually seen Moana, but I have one mini figure. Um, all of this kind of extra interior stuff is from the Disney 100 Celebration Train set, so that's why there's nothing that's like frozen here, um, because it's just kind of what I had from that set, so. Now here I'm walking up the Mickey Mouse heads to go on top, and I have pink bricks in here to represent their brains. It's sort of a brick heads reference, if you know, you know, but you probably do know if you're watching this video, because you're presumably a LEGO fan. Uh, I just thought that'd be kind of a neat little thing to do, kind of a little Easter egg, but you won't be able to see them once they're done, so. There it is, I think it turned out very well. It looks quite nice, and I really like these Mickey Mouse heads on top, they're quite fun. I really need to get these motorized where they like spin slowly on their own. Uh, I don't have room for that, but uh, that, that would be fun. Alright, now I've got it actually rigged up with lights here. As you can see, I've got the room completely dark, and I am about to turn it on. There we go. These are just simple LED strips. I've got a couple of different settings. We've got on, we've got wave kind of pattern here. We've got some other busy or flashing patterns here. Um, it works pretty well. 
the windows are nice and lit up. I, I really do like this effect. I think I like this one the best, what kind of flashes back and forth. Um, but yeah, you can't really see the minifigures in there very well. It doesn't look super great, I guess, if you have a whole bunch of ambient lying, which you can kind of see it then. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it turned out pretty good, especially if you're seeing it in um, darkness like this. You know, it really is a kind of different effect, you know, you've got, so... Uh, I like that setting the best, personally. Um, so yeah. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. I'll have more kind of LEGO videos coming up soon. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed, so I'll see you in the next video.